We are joined now by one of our favorite guests. You hear the music. So much anticipation for his new movie, Joe Bell. Please, ladies and gentlemen, Mark Wahlberg is back here on GMA. How are you, my friend? Looking good. Looking good morning. Good. good morning to you. Um, a lot of Oscar buzz. Uh, you know, a lot of Oscar buzz about this new one. And we remember that it was 15 years ago you got your first Oscar nomination for The Departed. And the word on the street is that you didn't want to take that role unless the director led, uh, allowed you to improvise. Is that true? Uh, well, there was a lot going on with me taking that role. Originally, I was cast in another part and then uh, lots of politics and stuff at the studio. So I decided that I wasn't going to do the film. And then Marty asked me to come back to play uh, the role of Sergeant Dignam. And I actually went back and read the script. And I realized that it was a much more fun role because I got to kind of go at everybody uh, in the cast. Uh, but I did I did uh, request that I could be able to, to be free to improvise at any scene. And uh, obviously, being from Boston, knowing the lingo, I felt <laughs> like it was a great opportunity to really kind of enhance that part. It made it. Mm -hmm, it sure did. Let's talk about Joe Bell. I mean, it's based on a true story of a dad who walked across the country to honor his son, raise awareness about bullying. And I know you care so much about telling this story. Absolutely. You know, um, I, I when I read the script, I realized, oh, my God, as a parent, it was important for me to be a part of this, um, kind of figure out how to be able to listen to my children, make sure that they were heard and seen uh, and to see this beautiful uh, young boy, Jaden, who was such a light and such a love and was so brave to be himself in a community where he wasn't really accepted um, and his dad to not really understand or have the tools and the skill set to be able to be there for his son in the way that he needed and then dealing with that grief and his Mission then to walk across the country and raise awareness and speak to anybody and everybody, whether they were willing to listen or not, about bullying and intolerance and the deadly effects of it. And you met with Joe Bell's family in person. Uh, how, yes. does, how does that help you prepare for a role? Um, well, certainly, I wanted them to, to to understand my level of commitment in dealing with their 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 story and uh, with the sensitivity and respect that it deserved, but also to really understand who Joe was. And he was a very complicated guy. Uh, he had dealt with, you know, he was abused uh, physically as as a child, and so he thought that by not beating his kids, he was definitely being a great parent. But when when Jaden wanted to to come out and be who he was, um, Joe was terrified by that and felt like, you know, that, that was not a good idea. And he didn't want to allow his son to be who he was and, and celebrate him and uh, for his bravery and be a cheerleader for him. And he really tried to get him to suppress his feelings and who he was and, um, and that, you know, he didn't get the support at home. So when Joe realized that he was as responsible as the kids who were bullying him at school, it was devastating for him. And it really had paralyzed him for quite some time. And then he got up and he mm. decided that he was going to uh, try to do whatever he could uh, to at least raise awareness and prevent other people from experiencing the same tragedy. Let's take a look at a clip. I mean, I was too caught up in my own feelings about what other people would think to see how alone my own son must have felt. I should have known how bad it was for him. I, I should have known all along, but instead I just, I just made Jaden's being gay all about Joe Bell. Mm. And you know, what, what does that mean, Mark? We, we talk about uh, a film getting Oscar, Oscar buzz, but this was such an emotional story. A lot of people remember this story, but going into it and now coming out of it, people are paying attention to this story all over again. More attention has been paid to bullying, certainly, since this story. But, but now, what do you think we are going to get out of this that it's now getting the attention that it's getting? Well, hopefully, you know, whether people are directly affected by something like this or not will open their hearts and their minds and be more accepting of people for being themselves. I mean, it's um, it's so important to continue Joe's mission. I wanted to make sure that uh, this story was continued to be told. It's uh, These tragedies are continuing to happen. And, you know, we just want to make sure the only way that we're going to bring people together is through love and acceptance. And so that's what we want to continue to do. And one thing I just want to ask you uh, about you physically. You uh, have a right. You had to drop down, had to get thin. Uh, thin out a little bit for this role. We know you're a, you're a big workout guy. So how, how are you doing physically and how difficult was that just physically challenging uh, and handling this role? 
Uh, it wasn't as hard. It's certainly easier to lose weight. Uh, I just did a movie where I gained almost 30 pounds, and that that is hard because uh, you know you're you're physically having to force yourself to continue to eat when you're already full. Um, but I was I, I always say the key whether I'm losing weight or putting on weight is exercise. Um, you know, and then of course the right the right diet. But you know, uh, much easier to lose the weight than to put on the weight. Uh, you're always the best, Mark, and uh, we only have about 20 seconds left. And just want to send our condolences. We know that you lost your beloved mother in April, and just want to let you know that you continue to be in our thoughts and, and prayers and your entire family. I know she was so important to you all. Thank you, Robin. Likewise, yeah, it's uh, it's it's hard because that was always the f first phone call of the day, and everybody mm -hmm. knows I'm an early bird, and I don't get to make that call anymore. So anybody that does, make sure you call your mother every day, tell them much Bless you. Love. Mm -hmm. All right. Thank you, my friend. Thank you, Mark. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.